What's up guys, with the trout stockings coming in the next week or so, I just want to do a quick video on some things that you guys should think about before going out and fishing for trout, and also some tips for when you are fishing for the trout. So, first off, I just want to say that the DC post a list of all the locations that they'll be stocking the trout um, on their website, and also they, they uh, say how many trout they'll be stocking in each location, and also what kind of trout in each location. So you guys can go check that out on the DEC website. And also they post a list of their regulations on their website for trout. The trout season in Nassau County is open all year long, except for brook trout, uh, April through April 1st through September, brook trout is only catch and release, so you can still target them, but you just have to release them. And of course you want to handle them with care if you're uh, gonna release them you want to wet your hands before you um, pick them up or use a net and don't keep them out of the water for too long because trout are really sensitive and um, a lot of trout that get caught might not survive uh, and then in Suffolk County there are certain lakes where there are a minimum size and also catch and release only starting in April so check that out before you uh, go fishing for trout in Suffolk all right, now I'm gonna go over some some uh, tactics for fishing for stock trout. My favorite tactic for fishing for stock trout is inline spinners. I feel like it covers the most water and it catches the most fish for me. Um, and it's also probably my favorite way because it's the most fun. It's like when when the trout hit it, they hit it really hard, and it's it's just a, the most fun way to catch uh, stock trout for me. So some variations of the um, uh, inline spinners that I like to keep in my tackle box are rooster tails in various colors because sometimes they're keyed in on a certain color and a certain blade color also. So like there'll be like a body color of like black or white or chartreuse or fire tiger but then the blade could be silver or gold and the trout sometimes lean towards only hitting silver or only hitting gold one day it really depends they can this this is more for after like a week or two that they're in there but the first week they normally hit anything and then also um, I like to have MEPS inline spinners in gold and sil silver because like I said before they're sometimes keyed in on a uh, different colors of the uh, blades and then also my last inline spinner that I like to throw is the Vibrex Minnow Spin. Um, it's good to be like, the Vibrex Minnow Spin has like a bigger presentation because it has like a bigger body as opposed to the rooster tails and the maps. So if you're going for, if you want to get bigger trout, sometimes the bigger trout will tend to hit the minnow spins more often. And okay, my next favorite tactic for stock trout is trout magnets. I like to have the assorted kit you can get on Amazon. It's like 10 bucks or something. It comes with the, all the jig heads and all the different colors. So this is good to have in case you want to switch up your colors. Like you'll end it. Like this will last me like almost two, two years. The the uh, single variety pack because there's a ton of magnets in there and also um, a bunch of jig heads. But ways to fish the trout magnets depending on like what type of body of water you're fishing and like just where like where the how the trout are acting at that uh the time that you're fishing so one way to uh fish for trout with trout magnets is you can just put it on the jig head cast it out let it sink and then reel it in really slow sometimes they'll hit it on the drop and also sometimes they'll hit it on the uh, the retrieve end so that's a good tactic for fishing like a lake and um, if they're like active throughout the whole lake that's a pretty good tactic and then another good tactic for uh, lake fishing if there's like a little bit of a breeze you can put it under a bobber like two one to two feet down and uh, let the bobber just drift in the wind and sometimes you'll get hits from trout as it's drifting or you can drift it on the bobber through a stream or like a spillway or something depending on where you're fishing for the trout and then last 
for trap magnets. My favorite, um, my this is my probably my favorite way to fish trap magnets is on the uh, weightless hook and just casting in the little creek and just wa watching it drift through and when it disappears you set the hook and um, so my favorite color for that would be bubble gum or uh, just the pink color on a weightless hook and yeah so that that's it for trout magnets and then next it, up is um, spoons spoons you can fish similar like the same way that you're gonna fish inline spinners the best two spoons for me are Castmaster and Phoebe spoons. You can have a range of sizes and a range of um, colors. Well, actually, I only really keep uh, gold and silver spoons in my tackle box. But you're gonna, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you're gonna wanna fish the um, inline spinners like medium retrieve and same with the spoons. And you could let the spoons drop first and sometimes they'll hit them on the on the fall, not really as often as they'll hit the trout magnets on the fall, but you could get that sometimes with a very aggressive trout early in the stocking. And last, I never really like to use it, it's never really worked for me, but power bait under a bobber or off the bottom uh, with like a little split shot. It works because they are eating the pellets in the hatcheries, but I don't like to use it, I don't think it's that fun, and uh, I don't know, I just don't like to use it, I prefer to use lures. So, thank you guys for watching, if you have any questions about trout stocking, or any questions about the tactics that I went over in this video, uh, just drop a comment below, and please, if you liked what you saw in this video, or any of my other videos, uh, subscribe to my channel for some more content coming soon, thank you guys.